Hey, hey! Welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Guys, this is gonna be the last episode I'm gonna make from Thailand because next week I'm leaving Bangkok and probably if you are watching this episode right now it means I'm already out of the country. Where exactly? We will know in the next video. However, today I'm inviting you to make a tour of my condo, place that I can call home. Place where I stayed at for two months while I was in Bangkok. Place which is available for short-term rent, which is quite unique for Bangkok city. I will tell you where it is located, I will show you what is inside, how much does it cost, and at the end, we will take a walk to a night market, because I always choose condos near night markets. <laughs> so if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you are ready to waste your precious time together with me, then join me in this last Thailand hungry adventure. Let's go! Actually, we are already here. This is it. It is called Teast Residence. Yeah, shower needed, but I don't ride much in Bangkok because traffic jam is just insane. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, it's just unbearable, which is why I prefer to use MRT, which is metro, underground train, or SkyTrain, BTS, or use Grab or Bolt applications to book taxi, to book motorbike taxi. Bolt is something relatively new, which is even cheaper than Grab. So yeah, <laughs> you don't need motorbike in Bangkok, to be honest. So this is the parking area for cars and for bikes. And in this lovely room, there is a water vending machine, which means you can place a plastic bottle inside a large bottle, put a coin here and fill it with clean water, which you can use for cooking. Some people say it is not good for drinking because you never know when was the last time they cleaned the filter inside. However, I believe in this condo, they clean it quite frequently because I use it for drinking and I'm still alive. A little bit crazy, but still alive. <laughs> and here, three washing machines, 30 baht inside and you can wash all of your clothes. And on this side, if you are too wet, you can dry yourself up. This is the dryer machine for the clothes, of course, not for your uh, naughty girlfriend. But <laughs> it's so hot in Bangkok, I don't know who really needs uh, the dryer. Probably people who don't have balcony. Okay, but I have balcony and I have washing machine. Let's go up. Here is the smoking area on the parking lot. And there is a reason for that. If I remember right, it is a law that you are not allowed to smoke uh, in condominiums in Thailand. Relatively new law. You can get fined 5,000 baht for every time for each cigarette. <laughs> of course, if you are staying in a high-rise building in a large condo, when no one can notice you, when no one can spot you smoking on your balcony, yeah, you can smoke freely. However, in small buildings, uh, it's kind of tricky. Besides, as a person who don't smoke, I quit smoking when I was like 24 years old, 25 years old, uh, and now I just can't stand smoke. I, ugh, to me, it's just mm, every time when I feel it. I find it really huge benefit, really huge plus. Besides, sometimes when you're traveling around Thailand and when you're staying in hotels, you are walking in the toilet, you are opening the light and uh, the ventilation starts working automatically and it starts pulling the air from other units and you sit in the toilet and you feel this smell that someone is smoking in the toilet. <laughs> but here, no, pure Bangkok air with all these tiny particles, PM 2.5, the most delicious. So this is the lobby. And this is the delivery place. Here is the for grab food or food panda food delivery. And here, when you order some goods from Lazada, from online shopping, very useful, especially when you are not at home. When you order something, they deliver it here and they store it in the lobby safely. And here is your post box. So every month you can find here your electric bill, your water bill or some, some mail, if you've got some. And this is the second floor. On the second floor, there is a co-working space 
to tables, TV, air conditioning and the library. And there are actually some books. One thousand portraits of genius. Mine is not included yet. Okay, maybe in next edition. And right next to the co-working space is my favorite room, which I rarely visit. This is the running track, this is the bicycle, and this is hiking cardio machine. When you want to go in the forest, stay in a tent, this is the machine you use to prepare your body for a trip. <laughs> and if you want some privacy, you can close these curtains, of course. Yeah, and you, nobody can see you from the outside. So we can close all of the windows. Here is a rack with dumbbells and my favorite machine to pump up your chest, to pump up your back. Yeah, I've got gym, but I rarely visit. Lazy Mickey, lazy Mickey. And then after a hard workout, you can please yourself with, some, with a small snack. Some lace, some noodles, Coke, electrolyte beverages, tea and water. All right, welcome. Ta-da! This is my home, guys. And these are my cats. Let's say hello to them. Hey! Hey! No? Zero reaction. So this is a one-bedroom unit. I believe it is around 34, 35 square meters. Here is the bedroom combined with living room. As you might notice, large bed with special topper. And you know how important Oui. <laughs> and you know how important a uh, relatively soft bed for me. Probably this is the reason why I spend so much in bed. Maybe there are other reasons, but I don't want to uh, put this topic on YouTube. So here is the sofa, very comfortable sofa, which means in front of us there is a television. And it's true, here is the large TV. I guess it's around 50 inches with YouTube. Wi-Fi is free in this condo. Oh yeah, I love this channel. Here is some of my stuff. I actually don't have much things. I just decided to put something so that it would look like someone is actually living here <laughs> in this condo. Here is my silver button for 100,000 subscribers. Oh, it's been a while. I would put it somewhere here. It would look good, but you are not allowed to drill walls in condo you don't own. Here is a tripod and lantern that I bought on Lazada for 250 baht, which has two modes and is really, really cool. So sometimes when I stay home, I turn off the light and enjoy television. Something like this. And then on the left side, there is a table with two chairs my so-called production center. Here is the box from the bike. By the way, if you want to buy a nice waterproof backpack, I mean, nice quality waterproof backpack for the rainy season in Thailand, which starts in June and lasts till October, till November, you can get it in Decathlon shop, really a nice shop where you can buy a lot of travel, hiking uh, stuff in Bangkok city. Here is the makeup table, which obviously I don't use, except for charging all of my devices. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got a lot of stuff to charge. Here is the wardrobe. Obviously, I don't have much stuff, only my t-shirts, something that I bought in Chiang Rai, something that I bought in Nan. Extra topper for mattress that I bought last year, but I don't use it because now I got a really nice uh, topper here. This one is really, really good. It is called Marina. 
Marina, no backache, the perfect quality healthy topper mattress make more comfortable sleeping with relax and healthy. Very nice translation. Yeah, I can manage my lights here. Charging port, charging port, windows. It's already late, which is why there is a blue light coming from the outside. And there is another house, but this house actually is actually a restaurant. So no one is looking at me walking without underwear in my room. At least I hope so. <laughs> Here is another section of the wardrobe. <laughs> nothing much to see, nothing much to wear. This one is with lock. All right, let me show you the kitchen. Kitchen door, a slide door. Lights on the left side. This I bought myself and this I bought myself. The set cost me around 500 baht. The kettle I bought myself, the ke this kettle is really cool because when you turn it on, it's blue. 250 baht for this one. This around 700 baht if I remember right. I tried to cook popcorn, which is why it's already dark in the middle. Induction cooker, a microwave. Really useful thing when you want to cook something in a small space. A fridge, one, two, three, four, five. And this thing cost a little bit more than 1000 baht on Lazada. Lazada is something like Amazon. There are two major online shopping websites, Lazada and Shopee. There you can find lots of cheap stuff, locally produced, internationally produced, delivered from China. There is really many, many, many things. And a pack of coffee filters, of course. Nothing much to see, just ice. And here, yeah. Chateau La Pelletrie, Saint Mimillion Grand Cru, 2019. My friend brought it uh, from France. A friend of mine stayed for three months in France and said, oh, Paris is beautiful, everything is beautiful, but there is no some tam, no pad thai, no Thai food, so Thailand is much better. <laughs> Probably I'm gonna feel the same after my long trip in many countries in Southeast Asia, which is coming next. The next station, the next station is my balcony. Here is the washing machine. I cover it because a lot of dust coming from, from the outside. Nah, only my dirty underwear inside. Air conditioning. And this one, this is actually, I bought myself. It cost, I don't know, 150 or 200 baht. And you don't need to drill the wall because uh, there is special mechanism. So you just place it between two walls and then rotate one end to extend. That's it. At first I thought it's not reliable, but it can handle really, really heavy load. <sighs> Ninety-five kilograms. <laughs> so there is probably only one station left. Toilet and shower. I'm sorry if it's not very clean. Yeah, this is how I live. Beautiful shower here, beautiful shower room. Everything is pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain the cleanliness. Everything is working. Toilet paper, toilet paper. Toilet paper, because when you do so many street food videos, you need a lot of toilet paper in your apartment. <laughs> My special toothbrush cup from 7-Eleven and so on. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. And this is it. The tour is over. And since it's already late, let's take a walk to night market. So like I've mentioned, this place is available for short-term rent and the 
minimum contract is two months. I got two months contract and I'm paying 13,000 baht a month for this condo for one bedroom unit, which is around $370 US. If you will sign six month contract, it will be 12,500 baht for one year contract, 11,500 baht. Yeah. There are smaller units like studio units too, but they are not available at the moment. But even for one bedroom for <laughs> for short term, I believe it is a pretty good price. Of course, you can find condo for 8,000 baht a month, for 7,000 baht a month, for 6,000 baht a month. Huge condo with larger uh, fitness center with swimming pool. But you're gonna need, you'll have to sign one year contract. But if you don't, but if you're coming to Thailand, if you're coming to Bangkok for holidays, and if you don't want to spend a fortune paying crazy money to Airbnb or if you don't want to stay in hotels, if you just need a place to stay for a couple months, place with kitchen, quiet place, then it might be a great option for you. Yeah, there is no swimming pool. I probably have mentioned it and probably it is the reason why, why it is so quiet, but personally, I don't like swimming pools. I, yeah, you, when you, people are coming to Thailand, you need to have this holiday mood, like this resort atmosphere. So you need to have a swimming pool, even if it's just, I don't know, like three on four meter, meters reservoir, a basin for, for kids and frogs and birds. <laughs> yeah, there are always birds. There are always pigeons drinking this water or pooping inside. But this place got no, no swimming pool. Probably it is the reason why it is so quiet and I love it. Yeah. If you want to have a nice swimming pool, you got to rent a condo in a high-rise building and sign a one-year contract as usual. But two monks in the city center and look where we are. This is Rochada Road. This is Swiss Hotel, uh, Hoi Kwan, Hoi Kwan MRT station, the metro station is just in two minutes walk from here. This is the, not the city center, but the heart, the heart of Bangkok, in my opinion. In this direction, there are shopping malls, there is central wall, there is the street, the street Rashada, and this is the place we are going right now. Because there is a market in the last couple of years, in the pandemic years, it was opened, not really regularly, just one time a week, or three times a month, something like that. However, now it's every day. Let's walk and check it out. I got a feeling that there are no more non-touristy places left in Bangkok because this season, I can't remember if there was something like this in the previous years. So many people everywhere, literally everywhere, even in the places you don't expect to see many people just floated. <laughs> because Thailand's been closed for such a long time, people were unable to travel and now when all the restrictions have been lifted in Thailand and abroad. Everyone has, has forgotten about this pandemic. Virus? What? What virus? <laughs> Okay, let's try. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's try. 
ครับโอเคครับโอเคโอเคไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ไอซ์ Mushrooms, broccoli, vegetables, bacon, pork, chicken, fish, squid, and so on. Variety is amazing. Very popular food in the evening time. It smells really good. Fifteen baht for one skewer. Oh, very spicy but tasty. The sauce is the key. And of course, fresh ingredients. But it's great. This market is open every day. It is like in front of the street shopping mall. There is live music. There are bars. And it just be five six minute walk. From my condo. Hello, sir. Are you enjoying the drum, right? Yes. Is it delicious? Yes, delicious. It's not delicious. It's not delicious. Yes, yes. Guys, this is another thing that you should definitely try in Thailand. You see, these are fresh oysters. There are no flies, no insects. They are closed in this jar, and yam poi nangrom is a salad with this fresh oyster, so which is amazingly delicious, spicy but so unique. Papa, ครับ. Fresh oysters, deep fried shallots. It looks strange, and it has very strange texture. However, this salad, this mix, is very addictive. And once you try it, once you realize how tasty it is, it is impossible to stop. Mm. Yeah, it's good here. Absolutely amazing. So creamy, so soft, and this deep-fried onion, the shallots, they're so crunchy. So just absolutely ideal mixture, especially for those who can't eat chicken or beef or pork, oysters. All right, guys, this is it. This was the last episode from Thailand. Please don't cry. <laughs> no drama. New adventures are coming. International tour are coming, and eventually, later this year, I'm gonna come back to Thailand because Thailand is my home. Probably, I'll be back around Loi Kratong around November. So yeah, six, seven months of new adventures, new countries, new trips, new feelings and emotions, and then recharge. Hungry adventurers are coming back to Thailand, and there will be something new because style is going to be a little bit different. I have prepared something interesting for 2024 and so on. End of 2023 and 2024, there will be a lot of cool stuff. But now, I'm going to take you all for a new tour around Southeast Asia. Let's see if we can find something. Spicy there. Smash the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you are watching this video for the very first time. I mean, video from this channel. And I'll see you in the next videos pretty soon, somewhere else. Not in Bangkok, not in Thailand. <laughs> bye bye.
Oh, very spicy. I need to buy a bag of chili to take it with me. Chili and para and fish sauce and oyster sauce. 